Welcome back, everybody, to the GSMC Hoops and Heels Women's Sports Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. We just got done talking about the U.S. swimming Olympic trials and Lily King's engagement. And now we're going to talk about the U.S. national basketball team for the Olympics. I'm going to share my predictions for the 2028 Olympic basketball team, which is pretty crazy because that's four years away. But we're still going to make those uh, predictions with confidence. So for the 2024 Olympic team, just so we know, um, a little rewind, we have Asia Wilson, Sabrina Ionescu, Nafisa Collier, Kelsey Plum, Kalea Copper, Jewel Lloyd, Jackie Young, Diana Tarisi, Chelsea Gray, Brittany Griner, Brianna Stewart, and Alyssa Thomas. So now for the 2028 Olympic team, let's start with people likely to return from the current roster. And I know that this might seem super, like, I don't know, far-fetched that I'm, like, kind of, like, talking about the 2028. But you know what? I wanted to. I feel like we're going to be confident about this. Okay. Starting with the obvious Asia Wilson. Wilson is an outstanding choice for any Olympic team due to her impressive track record. She has multiple WNBA MVP titles to her name, showcasing her ability to perform consistently at a high level. And the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games, Wilson was a key player for the U.S., leading the team with an average of 20 points per game and 2.8 blocks per game, while also grabbing 9.3 rebounds per game. Performance was instrumental in securing the gold medal for her team. Wilson's ability to score from various positions on the court makes her a versatile threat. Her presence in the paint is complemented by her capability to step out and hit mid-range jumpers. Wilson is also known for her defensive skills, particularly her shot blocking ability, which adds a critical layer of protection on the defensive end. Next person is Brianna Stewart. Stewart has already claimed gold medals at both the Rio 2016 and Tokyo 2020 Olympics, proving her ability to perform at the highest level on the international stage. Her performance at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics was particularly notable, where she was named the MVP of the Women's Basketball Tournament. Stewart is a multiple WMVP and WNBA MVP and champion with the Seattle Storm. Her accolades include numerous All-Star selections and WNBA Finals MVP titles, underscoring her dominance in the league. Stewart is known for her versatility on the court. She can play multiple positions effectively from shooting guard to forward, making her an invaluable asset to any team. Sabrina Ionescu. Ionescu left a significant mark at the University of Oregon, where she became the NCAA all-time leader in career triple doubles. Her college career was highlighted by leading her team to the NCAA Final Four. In the WNBA, playing for the New York Liberty, Ionescu has quickly established herself as a standout player. She's been an all-star, WNBA all-star, and is known for her record-breaking performance in the WNBA three-point contest. Known for her incredible versatility, Ionescu can play more multiple positions effectively, which is crucial in international play. Her ability to both score and facilitate makes her a dual threat. She can change the dynamics of a game not only with her scoring, but also with her exceptional vision and passing. Nafisa Collier. Collier was part of the U.S. women's basketball team that won the gold medal at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. As a player for the Minnesota Lynx in the WNBA, Collier has been recognized multiple times as an all-star. Collier is known for her versatility, able to both to play both forward and guard positions effectively. This adaptability makes her a valuable asset in international play, where flexibility in player roles can be very crucial. Her ability to guard multiple positions and dominate on the boards provides her team with both offensive and defensive advantages. Jackie Young. Young was a player on the U.S. Women's 3v3 basketball team that won the gold medal at the Tokyo Olympics. Her inclusion in that team was somewhat dramatic as she was called up at the last minute to replace Katie Luce and Wilson, who tested positive for COVID. Despite the sudden call-up, Young's performance was stellar, contributing significantly to the team's success. Drafted first overall by the Las Vegas Aces in the 2019 WNBA Draft, Young has shown exceptional skills and versatility on the court. She has been a pivotal player for the Aces, showcasing her ability to impact games significantly. Young's ability to quickly adapt to the fast pace and unique style of 3v3 basketball, especially under the pressure of an Olympic debut, highlights her versatile skill set. Adaptability makes her an invaluable asset for any team format. Known for her strong defensive play, Young can guard multiple positions effectively, making her a defensive asset in international play where versatile defensive capabilities are crucial. Okay, where it gets more drama. For first-timers, we have Caitlin Clark, obviously. 
Caitlin Clark has made a significant mark in college basketball, becoming the NCAA Division I all-time leading scorer, surpassing legends like Pete Maverich. Her scoring ability is phenomenal, and she was a two-time National Play of the Year during her time at the University of Iowa. Clark is known for her incredible ability to score from virtually anywhere on the court. Her long-range shooting and ability to finish at the rim make her a constant offensive threat. Beyond scoring, Clark is an excellent playmaker. Her vision and ability to distribute the basketball to ensure that she can also serve in a facilitating role, making her a dual threat in offense. Given her scoring capabilities and leadership, Caitlin Clark would be poised to make a significant impact if selected for the 2028 Olympic team. She brings a fresh dynamicism that could be pivotal in high state games, particularly against tough international competition. Her inclusion would not only add depth to the team's backcourt, but also provide a reliable scoring option. Alaya Boston. In the WNBA playing for the Indiana Fever, Boston quickly made her mark by winning the WNBA Rookie of the Year award in 2023. She has consistently demonstrated her skill and impact on the court, contributing significantly to her team's success. Boston is known for her ability to play multiple positions effectively, which is crucial in international play where flexibility in player roles can be essential. She is also acclaimed for her defensive skills and rebounding, which are critical in international competition. Her ability to guard multiple positions and dominate on the boards provides her team with both offensive and defensive advantages. Paige Buckers. At the University of Connecticut, Buckers quickly made a name for herself, becoming one of the standout players in NCAA women's basketball she was named the nae smith college player of the year as a freshman and an exceptional achievement that underscores her talent and impact on the court she's achieved numerous milestones milestones such as scoring 1000 career points in a remarkably short period and leading uconn to multiple final four appearances her ability to perform in high pressure games has been evident throughout her college career Given her outstanding abilities and leadership qualities, she was she would be expected to play a critical role in the 2028 Olympic basketball team if she continues on her current trajectory. Her skill set combined with her experience and maturity would make her one of the key contributors and possibly one of the leaders on the team. Okay, Juju Watkins. As a student athlete at USC, Watkins already made significant waves in college basketball. She set a USC record by scoring 51 points in a single game against Stanford. Watkins has represented the U.S. in international competitions, winning gold medals at the 2022 FIBA Under-17 World Cup. Her experience on the international stage at such a young age bod shows how well she would be for future contributions to the Olympic team. Given her trajectory and the skills she's demonstrated so early in her career, Watkins is poised to be a key player for the U.S. in the 2028 Olympics, if picked for the team. Her scoring ability, combined with her international experience and maturity, make her likely to be one of the standout performers. If she continues to develop at her current pace, Watkins can not only secure a spot on the team, but also become one of its leading figures. Okay, Cameron Brink. Regardless of her injury, I think she's going to be just as good when she returns in 2025. As a standout player at Stanford University, Brink has consistently demonstrated her basketball talent. She led her team to significant victories and has been a crucial player in NCAA tournaments. Following her college career, she was drafted second overall by the LA Sparks in the WNBA, quickly establishing herself as a key player. Also, Brink's ability to excel on both 5-on-5 five five and 3v3 basketball formats showcases her versatility. Now, let's talk about contenders for the last two spots. Arike Ungunboale. Y'all know I'm a huge fan of her. Ungunboale is known for her exceptional scoring ability and clutch performances. She plays for the Dallas Wings in the WNBA and has been a standout scorer since her debut. And then Alaya Edwards. Edwards has also represented Canada in international competitions, contributing significantly with her robust play style. Rakia, oh, I guess I forgot. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry. I forgot to make a picture for Rakia Jackson. But Rakia Jackson also I wanted to include in this list. She has made significant impacts at Mississippi State and later at Tennessee. She's known for her scoring and rebounding capabilities. She's been really she's been doing really phenomenal in the WNBA as a rookie right now. And then Alyssa Smith, a Baylor University alum, was drafted by the Indiana Fever. She's celebrated for her rebounding and versatile scoring. She quickly established herself in the WNBA, showcasing her ability to impact games both offensively and defensively. I feel like everybody knows her name. Like, if you don't even watch the WNBA, I feel like you've heard her name before. Okay, and then lastly, um, oh wait, 
There's Rakia Jackson's picture. I just switched them. I'm so sorry, guys. Lastly, Angel Reese. Okay, Angel Reese playing for LSU has been a dominant force in college basketball with her impressive scoring and rebounding statistics statistics oh my goodness reese has made history in her double double stats in the WNBA. so clearly she is one of the best rookies in the league right now and i truly believe that she is like the top three in the rookies right now so we're now going to move on to our next segment where we're going to talk about the tennis players who qualify for the usa czech republic and ukraine teams and the olympics before we get into that we're going to be taking a very short break so i will see you guys very soon Looking for your daily fix of sports talk without having to pay for it? GSMC Sports Network is available on YouTube. Just search GSMC Sports Network. Get your fix of daily sports talk shows on YouTube absolutely free. NFL, college football, NBA, MLB, MMA, UFC, fantasy football, and so much more. GSMC Sports Network has shows running all day long with new sports shows starting every two hours. Just like on your favorite cable sports channel, except GSMC Sports Network is absolutely free. Just search GSMC Sports Network on YouTube to catch one of your new favorite shows, like the GSMC College Football Podcast, Chip Shot Football Podcast, Hoops and Heels Women's Sports Podcast, GSMC Basketball Podcast, and so many more. Check it out for yourself. GSMC Sports Network, now available on YouTube absolutely free. Search GSMC Sports Network on YouTube.